Bonus nudges, everyone. It's your Unified Ascension Azure here. Oof. Oh, I'll tell you. It's been a while since I've done the video, but I just got back from Acapulco. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. It's fantastic. The energy's uh, it's subsurfacing through its galactic system and its energy core. But the most important thing that I did through its waters continuum is I had full collaboration, relationship, partnership with the, its waters and its oceanics. So I've definitely have uh, changed its waters. I've cleansed its uh, its atmosphere right now through uh, fifth dimension. So uh, every time I travel, I'm cleansing its atmosphere through my energy fields, and it's it's a connection force that's going so strongly. It's unbelievable what's happening. I had a lot of energies going to me this morning. And now I'm connecting through its DNA structure. Now a DNA structure is basically you take one strand and that strand alone has its own location of its location as geographical and its, um, its energy cycles. It has continuous force. It's like um, radio receptor or uh, radio transmission. Uh, our bodies are made through that, from our body capacities and our ecosystems. So that one strand alone has its own plantation through its planets and its solar systems. Now just imagine how many strands they are through your body capacitor. Remember, the higher self is connected through its electric and its uh, solar um, mechan systems full force and its connection so uh yeah you know i just briefly uh like to thank all subscribers and viewers for the higher self channel for the love and support you guys have been amazing uh keeping in contact with you keeping everything going keeping the flow keeping the energy cycles going keep giving you updates on what's happening through space continuum it's extremely important to know these things uh now what's happened through its uh, galactic system is that I've just collected its uh, waving patterns through waters continuing. And uh, I've, I've seen the city lights through the streaming lights, which I told you before in my last video. And I have full connection now, uh, which I have seen the through the waters. I've seen a lot of uh, its... Um, well, let's just say an underwater city in its waters. So the higher self can go through waters continuum. It's very important to understand how to use your higher self to go into the water. It's a total different uh, body suit through its body capacitor. Uh, it also has its, uh, you have to shut down the heat sensors and bring off the coolants. The coolants uh, is a, it's, um, well, let's just say your base, on antimantium which is through space continuing and it's tremendous force so uh you got to stay clear of the heat sensors when you're going into the waters continuing you got to make sure that you keep yourself focused and when you're swimming in its waters uh know exactly what bodysuit that you're using because it's all based on electricity everything's based on electricity that's what the higher self is through its lights continuing. And its solar lights. It's mecha lights. It's synchronizing lights. There's so many different lights that are on the higher self. Because it has different channels. And those channels are, are a collective. And the collective shows you exactly what to do when you go through ground formations, matrix grids, waters continuing, uh, volcanic rock, uh, energy cycles systematical cycles all those are connected so when i was in waters continuing i uh, basically as i was cleansing its waters through its matrix grid uh, i saw mermaids now i know a lot of people are skeptical of living do they exist and i say well i i believe they do especially when you're connected through the higher self you can travel anywhere and like I said, spiritualism is very powerful. It's very connected. Uh, you can pick up a lot too. 
just to know that, you know, through its waters and its tremendous force, it has amazing connection that you guys uh, can use. I also recommend too, um, when you're in the waters, is to meditate underwater. Not above water, underwater. Try to meditate underwater. Maybe you need you know, maybe four or five feet just so you can keep yourself balanced and keep yourself at said level and just meditate. It's amazing what you can pick up. There's a lot of different things that you can pick up through its um, pineal gland, the third eye. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable energies that go through your system when you're meditating underwater. So try that out. So anyway, um, when I was in the waters alone, uh, I was, you know, swimming around with the higher self and I saw the dolphins, the whales and the sharks and all that too. It's in deep waters. It's way beyond its gravitation. Uh, it's a tremendous force that's underground in its waters. Um, uh, it's got a huge, huge connection. So, um, knowing that you guys can have full collaboration through relationship partnership. If you meditate underwater, you will definitely see it's oceanonics because once you use your third eye, you get connection. That's how you build a relationship, not partnership relationship. You have to get connected with your waters. You have to get connected with the nature creative. You have to get connected with the uh, divinity self, the higher self, uh, any kind of plantations, uh, any kind of intelligence higher realm. I'm in the year 20,000 right now. And extremely high, high harmonics. Um, I, I mean, I almost couldn't get up. That's how much energy that was into me. Uh, so it's process. It, it's, it's continuous force that's happening right now through its... Um, line formations so I'm using those radio uh, acceptors and the, uh, the the adapters the adapters are a kinetic, kinetic wheel through its gravitational pull and its fifth dimension on top of its galactic system and its connected wheel so it has a, a galactic force within and without now uh Let's see, the update was you guys were feeling a lot light, more headed, and you know, you were going through a continuous force through a magnetic and it's fifth dimensional realm. Like a being, like a tractor being just taking you in. Now, basically, porthole is still open, but we're still having that full connection. So, this is the time to let go of the eagles completely and fully. So you can shut the door and move forward. Now to do that, you have to use your force fields and your energy fields. This is where you have to know your energies and your energy fields. You have to have full connection on all of that. And it's very important that I think everybody should try to meditate underwater. That's the next step. I recommend all the three dimensionals. Try it too. All the light formations meditate underwater. Okay really try to do that because that's what i'm going to be asking you to do because you're going to have energies go into you but it's going to feel like water base and you're going to get a little bit of hot flashes on top of that so you're going to feel the wind breeze you're going to feel a lot you're actually going to hear the ocean believe it or not because <laughs> like i said i have full collaboration now in relationship partnership with its water and its oceanonics so all you light formations and anybody that's a uh, higher self is going to be hearing that through the inner self. You are going to be hearing the oceans. You know, when you put a seashell up to it, your ear and you hear the ocean, that's what you're going to be hearing. And those energies are going to be going into you extremely powerful through a wave cycle. Now the wave cycle is it's kinetic through its wind force and its waters. So it's kind of like a brush, you know, it just whoo, that's the kind of field it's going to be. So when the energy goes into you, it's going to feel like a wave. It's kind of like, it's, it's motionless, but you, you're definitely going to feel the energies go into you. So I'm just letting you know what's happening with that. That's exactly what's happening now. Because we've gone across the Rainbow Bridge. Now we're heading to the Golden Sphere of the Fifth Dimension. Walking across that, 
But to get to that, we have to go through its waters continuum because Mother Gaia needs everybody's support. So that's why it's very important to meditate underwater. So everybody, I recommend doing that. If you don't meditate underwater, you're going to feel underwater. Okay? I'm just letting you guys know that now. If you don't meditate underwater, you're going to feel like you're underwater. Okay, so my thought process is connected through its ocean onyx, and that's what it's telling me right now. That's the in, that's the energies I'm getting from space continuum and its higher intelligence through its alien formations and its ground formations right now. Acapulco has tremendous, tremendous foundations through its alien nations and its communications. I've I've collected so many energies. It's it's unreal. I can't even grasp how much energy that goes into me every time I travel. And I've traveled a lot. And I've been in uh I've been in Mexico for almost two months now. So and this is just the beginning. So like I said, it's a long process as we're gonna reach the river of light. And that's what I'm saying is to have that connection to get that understanding of what the river light is to understand and meditate underwater. Okay, see how everything's coming together? See how everything's connected? That's exactly what's going to happen next. So you guys are going to feel like you're, whoa, I'm underwater here. You're going to get uh, <clears throat> nose pressures. You're going to get ear pressures. Uh, <clears throat> so I recommend uh, to meditate underwater. Either way, those energies are going to go into you and you're going to feel a tremendous force that's going to go over you through your body capacitors and ego systems. So it's very important that I give you this information. I always keep an update of what's going on through its space continuum. Now, I've had a couple days to relax because I've had a lot of energies going through me. And I also have a tan, too, as you can see. I spent uh, four days in Acapulco with its galactic sun and its tremendous super moon. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable what I was using as I was communicating with its water waves. And it's, uh, it has an amazing surrender. Water is, is free. It has freedom. It doesn't answer to anybody, but to itself. But if you communicate through the higher self, through the energies, because water is all based on energy. That's all water is. It's understanding the, the communication of its vibration through harmonics. Because water's continue is harmonics. Ground formations is harmonics. Matrix grid is harmonics. The higher self is harmonics. The galactic in and the galactic out force is harmonics. The child within and the child without is harmonics. All of these things are connected through the higher self and its intelligence, through its spaceships, through its alien formations, through its intelligence, and all its plantations and its DNA structures. Now, the DNA structures is a connection that is so strong, uh, it has a magnetic wave through its volume patterns. So, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but as of for now, this is what's going to happen to your energies and your cycles through your body capacitors and ecosystems. You're going to feel waters continuing going into you. Okay. So hopefully that helps you out and, uh, take it easy, everybody. And I'll keep you updated on what's going on next. This is your unified ascension Azareth calling out. Hasta luego.